All right, so uh, here's another welding project for you guys. I made this TIG cart, and you can see I put these little hooks here, dual hooks, and that's to hold my TIG torch, and that's all great and fine when uh, I'm welding. However, uh, when I'm not welding, but when I'm welding, I want a place to hang my torch while I'm welding, some, some kind of a stand or something to hold it. So I got this idea, I was looking online, and they actually have TIG torch holders. You can get them at Harbor Freight, they're pretty inexpensive, but I bought a couple of magnets from Harbor Freight, and this is what they look like, this is one of them. The other one I put into a magnetic, um, like a nail pickup tool. And uh, so I've had this one laying around the shop, and I want to do something with it. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a TIG torch holder with a magnetic base so I can put that somewhere and then I can put my TIG torch pretty much anywhere I want. So I got to design that. Okay, so uh, what I came up with for a design, like I said, I've seen these on the internet, but um, I'm trying to come up with something I can make in the garage pretty easily. So a piece of metal like that. This is a uh, cardboard box, by the way. I'm going to drill this out and remove that and use a nut and a bolt right here. Um, then I'm going to bend this, and this is the general shape. Now I've seen them on the internet where they hold the torch like that. I, my torch kind of has a memory and it wants to stay sideways, so I made this a little bit deep. Um, so that's the basic plan, subject to change. And uh, let me show you what I got over here. So what I have over here is some scrap metal that, uh, again, recycling. Um, just some eighth inch plate steel. I'm going to try to weld these two together. I'm going to weld these holes up and grind them so it'll come out looking kind of like a clean piece of paper. I mean, excuse me, a piece of metal. Uh, I'm using a straight edge here just to match so I can get a, at least one straight side. Tack that, weld it all the way across, um, grind it down, fill in these holes, and then I'll cut the shape. I haven't decided if I'm going to use my plasma or if I'm going to use my bandsaw probably the path of least resistance. So uh, one of those, we'll find out. Okay, so once again, always practice safety. Uh, you'll notice that I have my, my um, welding gloves on. I keep switching between these and the other gloves. Put the MIG torch turned on, put my straight edge here, and then I'm gonna tack it right there. Places. Now I'm going to run a bead across it and um, maybe do a little from the other side because it's warping a little. overkill. Welding it from both sides. I'm going to show you how to fill a hole. Basically you just start at the edge and just keep going around like little C's. We'll, uh, make sure you can see what I'm doing there. Maybe I'll zoom in a little bit. All right, you ought to be able to see what I'm doing there. And uh, that's kind of a dirty piece of metal. It's, uh, it's got some grease on it. So I got a fan going now. Um, let me just kind of clean up around these holes here that I'm gonna weld. And I'll show you way to weld them. It's all about practice on a MIG. There we 
go. That's how you weld up a hole. Pretty good penetration there. Um, if you want to show good from both sides, you might have to do a little filling. Alright, let's try it again. Notice I went from both sides on that one. Um, it's just whatever you prefer. Fill in the little crater and just keep going. And then I'll just grind those smooth. Now what you'll notice is that I'm going on and off on the trigger. That's because as the metal gets super molten and it's really bright orange, it's going to blow through if you just keep welding. So you got to learn to pace yourself. When you see that happening, you stop and then the, the metal will go from cherry red to a dull, dark orange. And when that happens, you can hit it again and weld on it without blowing through. right there there's a little crater and I'll just fill that in we go to the last hole now you can use this technique when you're working on cars sheet metal especially and um, just remember when it gets bright red let off and then press the trigger again and you will blow holes really good technique to practice and um, that's it for this now I'm going to grind these down and we'll cut it